Hey, I'm Zoe, and welcome back to my channel, Zoe's All Booked. If you're new here, welcome to the shit show, and welcome to my favorite kind of day. We're going book shopping. Today, I'm going to be going to the Goodwill bookstore. The sale is 30% off today, I think, off of everything. So I'm going to go and get hopefully an unreasonable amount of books. But before I get started, I want to talk to you about something else that's going on sale that we all know and love, Anna Luisa Jewelry. They are a carbon neutral co carbon <laughs> neutral company. I'm so excited because I, I love this jewelry so much. I'm wearing one of the pieces right now. I'm having a little bow moment. Carbon neutral company, super cheap, super fast shipping, they sent them on Tuesday, and I got them yesterday on Thursday. And we all know how garbage shipping is in Canada. So amazing. Amazing that I got here so fast. Um, the Black Friday sale is happening. Biggest sales of the year. So go and get yourself some of this jewelry. Um, I will show you some of the other pieces. I have them at home. Obviously, I'm outside of a Goodwill bookstore right now. I don't have them with me. But like, look at these ones. Okay. Gorgeous. I was having an absolute shit show of a morning trying to get all of my kids to daycare and to school, but it was cool. It was fine because I was wearing these and I looked hella fucking cute. What more can we ask for here? There are a lot of old people here right now looking at me while I'm doing this, so <laughs> for real though, this is not the first time I worked I've <laughs> I cannot speak this morning. This is not the first time I've worked with Anna Luisa. If you've been around on my channel, you'll have seen me do uh, videos with them before and it's definitely not going to be the last one. When I say I'm obsessed and I wear these every single day, I mean that. The pieces at Ana Luisa start as low as 39 US dollars and they last. Like, yes, you could go and buy, buy cheap jewelry from somewhere else, but it's going to get tarnished and it's going to look ugly within a couple weeks and then you're going to have to go and spend more money. So, do yourself a favor, elevate your everyday life with gorgeous pieces like this. Like I said, I'll show you some of the other ones that I have at home that they just sent me. I'm... <sighs> I'm obsessed. I'm I'm truly obsessed. Like, I typically can't wear bracelets or necklaces at home because my children break them often. So I go for the earrings and I love them. Like, if I'm... Right, you can see... Can You, you can't even... Look at this, okay? I've got my Krusty the Clowns. I've got... I've got a hot mess happening up here, but I don't even care because this... Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Again, biggest sale of the year happening right now. Go and get some pieces before the sale is done. You will kick yourself if you don't, and you will regret it. If you do, you're going to look gorgeous, you're going to look fabulous, and then we can be twins. Get the bow ones. Let's, let's be twins. If you do get the bow ones, tag me on like Instagram or any other social media. I forgot what the word was. And then we can, we can be twins, and I can share us being twins together because... I need more adult interaction in my life. Also, I'm going to a Jesse McCartney concert tonight, so... Yes! Also, it's Black Friday, which means that Canadian Thanksgiving is long gone, and American Thanksgiving is happening. Did it already? I don't know what American Thanksgiving is, okay? But it's Black Friday, most importantly here. And that makes for great Christmas gifts. And with the super fast shipping happening, Christmas gifts. You've got... Somebody who loves earrings, somebody who loves a beautiful necklace moment, because the, the necklaces are gorgeous, and I wish that I could wear them more often. But again, small children that break everything. This is why I can't have nice things. Okay? Um, my brain froze. It's fine. <laughs> you know what to do. Click the link in the description box. It will take you to the jewelry land of your dreams. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but click that link. Do it. Please, just make your day. Make your holiday season beautiful because we know are bows coming back for the holiday season i don't know but if they are some of these and a cute bow in your hair and maybe a cute bow in a dress or something maybe too many bows but the bow earrings that's that's the way to go they're subtle they're gorgeous and like i don't usually love gold but this fantastic you cannot go wrong with a cute little pair of earrings like this click the link get the stuff tag me tag anna luisa spread holiday joy what the that is a large truck that just went by. All that to say, they're gorgeous. Go get some. The end. <laughs> I have been up since five in the morning and it's nine o'clock, okay? Um, I am going to go into the store because it opened a few minutes ago and it's 30% off. And sometimes it pops off in this place because it's Goodwill Bookstore. So the books are like six, six bucks max. And... 
Speaking of carbon neutral, like Anna Luisa and loving the planet, we're thrifting books. We love secondhand books. We love cheap secondhand books, especially if you're like me and you're trying to uh, convince, no, complete all of your old favorite childhood series that you either forgot that you were reading because memory problems or you just never kept up with or, you know, your mother threw out all of your books because you were too old for them. Anyways, that's a story for a different day. Um, I'm gonna go get some cheap-ass books. Let's do this. Also, I will be switching to my phone camera. This is very hard to get clean, and we got little fingers always touching in there, so if it's a little blurry... No, it's not. I've got a new phone coming in next, next week. It's gonna get here right before my birthday. I'm so excited. I've got a new phone coming in, and we will not have to deal with janky-ass... janky. Um... But for right now, it might be a little bit blurry. But I'm going to go in. I'm going to do some shopping. If I have time, I might go to Value Village too because they've got a lot of cheap books there. And then I'm going to go home. I'm going to re-straighten my hair, get ready for the concert. And then I will do a full book haul. Also including books I got at the last Goodwill bookstore sale that I forgot to do a book haul with. So we're going to have like a two for one. So we've got even more more sales no but more like you get it i'm gonna shut up let's go All right, I'm done. It's, what the hell time is it? I don't even know. Where did my, oh, it's in my pocket. I'm like, did I leave my phone in there? Uh, it's 9.50. Oh, I got a message from school. That is too many words in French that I don't know. So I'm gonna have to translate this. Um, like I'm, I'm working on it. I am working on the French. There's, there's so much French in my life right now. And I'm trying to get it back. I'm learning. I took French from JK to grade 9, so... 1 to 8, and then JK, SK. I, not grade 3, though, because they changed curriculum. I took French for 10 years, so... I got it. Uh, 14 items, $42, with the, uh, the discount and everything. So, I'm going to go home and get this all set up, and we will do a haul like i said with the other things i have too i think i had like maybe 10 books there too so that's juicy um my brain broke again so it's 9 50 i'm gonna go home there's somebody in the car next to me we're just gonna ignore it and we're gonna power through um well i'm gonna go home and i'm going to straighten my hair and then get ready and then if i have time i will do the actual sit down haul if not i'll do that tomorrow not tonight because i've got the the concert tonight yeah i wanted to try and get more like b-roll footage in there but it was quite busy and the aisles are a very very small so i didn't want to be doing that um but yeah uh, all in all a pretty good haul i got some dvds too because <sighs> reasons i will discuss that after i want to get home i'm getting hungry i need to give tyson did I give I gave him breakfast. I need to let him out to go pee again. Uh, my husband Kurt is on midnights this week, so he's sleeping. Um, let's do it. Let's go home. I'm gonna go put on my Jesse McCartney playlist. And because why not? Like Je Beautiful Soul came out almost exactly twenty years ago. It's like twenty years ago, a few weeks ago. I vividly remember being in grade six and that song coming out. I was 10, a couple weeks away from being 11 years old and changed my life. Truly. And now here I am, 20 years later, seeing him in concert. 
Is it a dream come true? Yes, of course it is. Oh my god. <sighs> Grade 6 me would be absolutely shitting herself <laughs> right now. Like, I was genuinely convinced I was going to marry him one day. So, that didn't happen. It didn't happen, but I think my husband's pretty cool. I think I think I got pretty lucky with that one. Anyways, let's shut up. Oh! I don't want to show it because there's there's the license plates, but like we can can we see? No, we can't even see it from this angle. Um, there's a there's a, a Buick, the same color that mine was that I had before we had our third child and had to get a minivan because three car seats don't fit into a Buick Encore. I miss that. I miss that bitch. I've been seeing my my old yellow Fiat everywhere too. Like there are not many in this city, and I feel like I've been seeing the same one or two. Often again. Is it a sign that I should get another Fiat one day? Yes, yes, it is. I'll see you after. Okay, I'm home. I got in the shower and I was like, absolutely not. I do not want to straighten my hair. So we're we're dealing with this. But I did change my earrings. Look. These ones are cute. I'll do a, I'll do like close-ups actually. Um and I have one more pair. Um that are remarkably similar to another pair that I got from Anna Luisa before because I'm predictable and I have a, a style that I like, but these ones are so cute. I love these. Um, and they're two separate pieces. So you could wear just like the top part without the, the dangly bits if that tickles your fancy. There's only like 28 minutes left on this memory card and I need to go get my kids in like 25 minutes. So let's do this. Let's start with the stuff from today. I'm not going to go through like what each book is about because of lack of time. So we're just going to, we're going to go with it. Um, First one up here is The Wheel of Time, uh, The Dragon Reborn, the third book uh, in the Wheel of Time series uh, by Robert Jordan. I have not read any of the other ones. I do not own any of them, but I decided that I wanted to get them all and read them. So here we are. Then Pitch Perfect by Mickey Rapkin. This is the book that inspired the movie. I'm obsessed with this movie and I've always been curious about the book. So we'll see. If you've read it and it's garbage, let me know. I'm still gonna read it anyways, but just so I'm prepared. Then I've got The Dragon Air by Cinda Williams Trima, and I already have a copy of this one. So we're just gonna, we're gonna put that one to the side. I couldn't remember if I had it and I forgot to take pictures before I left. So here we are. Um, and then I've got Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. This is part of the, like the series is with the wedding date. Um, I don't know which book it is. The fourth one, I believe. I think I've read the first three and then haven't gotten to this one. So there we go. And it's a holiday book. Perfect timing. Um, oh, it's yucky on the back. I didn't realize. I remember seeing this. Oh, it's a sequel. Shit. <laughs> Devoted by Hilary Duff, the sequel to Elixir. I remember seeing Elixir out. I didn't realize that this was a sequel. I thought it was just a separate one. I'm expecting this to be fully garbage, but I am so invested because I was obsessed with Hilary Duff. Um, and I've got um, one of the Megamorphs books from Animorphs, El Elfangor's Secret, the third Megamorphs book. Um, if you recall, I have been collecting the Animorphs books. I am, I think, like 80% done now. I know I don't have any of these ones. I saw another one of the Animorphs ones. I did grab it. Um, number 30, The Reunion. I think I have this, or I think I don't have this one. I don't think I have this. Words are so hard. If I do, it's gonna go with the Dragon Air, and I'm just gonna have to just deal with it. Um, then The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. Uh, then I have The Towering Sky by Catherine McGee. This is the second book in, or third book. This is the third book in the series. It might be a trilogy. I don't know. Um, the first one is the thousandth, the, the thousandth floor. I remember when an old friend of mine was reading that and I was super interested in it, but I just never got it. So now I'm going to try and find the first two and read this one. And then that's it for books from today. But I got DVDs. My big fat Greek wedding because that's my entire life. It is my family. Uh, two Pied to the Caribbean ones. Uh, the Curse of the Black Pearl and At World's End. And then Transformers, the very first one. These are because I am absolutely fucking sick of streaming services. I am completely sick of finding out that my favorite movies have been taken off, taken off of one because a production company or whatever decided that they're going to have their own streaming service. So you have to pay another 
$7.99. No, that's US, so it's usually probably like $10.99 Canadian for movies that were all in one place and then they can just be taken away and you can you have to go pay more money. So I'm not gonna be doing that, especially because Netflix you cannot password share in Canada. Uh, my brother paid for our house to be added to it, but we can only watch Netflix Kids, not actual Netflix. So we are shit out of luck there. And now Disney's starting the same thing. So fuck all of you, thank you. We're gonna be doing a DVD collection once again. I'm gonna find all our favorite shows. I'm gonna get more of these. And there were about 8,000 movies that I was about to buy, but I didn't wanna do that. So first bag from last time, we've got lots of Dan Brown, right? Um, this chair is so grainy. Angels and Demons. Wow. Focused? Thank you. Angels and Demons. I have a small paperback. No. I did. But I think that was my brother's. I have a trade paperback. And I wanted all the hardcovers because I have some of them in hardcover, some of them in paperback. And I just want to collect all of them because I love the Dan Brown books. Um, ooh, The Widow's House by Daniel Abraham. This is book four in the Dagger and the Coin series. I just have the first one. I've listened to all the audiobooks. I absolutely love this series. It's so good. Um, anyways, I'm calm. I promise. I listened to the audiobooks and now I'm trying to find all of the paperbacks. Um, but Indigo never usually has them. If they do, they only have the first one. So that sucks. I found one. I'm very happy. Um, then... Inferno by Dan Brown. I have this. Is it Inferno? Yeah. It's like very. The height is normal, but it's not very wide. The copy that I got. I've been mad at it ever since I got it. Um, it would have been October of 2016, the first trip me and Kurt went on for my birthday. So it's it's been a while. Then, please tell me. Oh, yes. I have Inheritance by Christopher Paolini, the fourth book in the um, Inheritance cycle. I have the first three. This is the fourth. And then Murdoch, I think it's called, the fifth one came out uh, last year, maybe. But I finally have these. I wanted to actually sit and binge the, the hard covers, like the hard copies. I found it, so I'm very excited. And that is the end of that. Bag number two. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Not only did I get a copy of The Dragon Heir today, thinking that it wasn't the one that I had. I have three of them. I think there's four books in this series. Turns out last time I did the same thing. The Warrior Heir, but I don't have the hardcovers. Maybe I'll collect the hardcovers too. I have the, the paperbacks, trade paperback ones. So... <laughs> Fuck me! Oh! You know what? I am gonna keep this one. This one's cool. Um, there's text written in here from somebody. Uh, I said, how are you? Lots of O's. Lots of extra letters here. Um, and it just says what, like, the, uh, what the book is about is for somebody's birthday. Love, Joe. Oh yeah, happy birthday. Um, and then another one, have a happy birthday, my cute baby whale. Keep smiling, Joe's mom. And then, happy birthday, man, from somebody else. I love that, but I'm also sad that somebody gave that away. Then I got The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. I have... Yes. Another paperback, but like a normal size one. So I wanted to get all of them. I, I have them all now, because I have An Angels and Demons, and then I already had the Da Vinci Code, and then Inferno, and... The Lost Symbol and Origins. Yes! It's ready for my display in the new library. Whenever we finish that. Sometime next year, likely. Who's who's messaging me? Oh, it's just a notification from an app. You suck. Um, and then the last two. I tried to find more of these today. But I didn't find any that were in this style. Two books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. Lover Mine and Lover Unleashed. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This might be the eighth book. I could be lying. And Lover Unleashed. I, I just tried to count these. 
these books here. And I did one, two, three, and four was also number three. So I, I don't know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lover Mine is number eight, but there's like novellas, I think, in between there. And this one, Lover Unleashed, is number nine. I have the first one. I read the first one. It's a mass market paperback. If you want to know the first thing about me and books is I fucking hate mass market paperback. If I see any books in um, new bookstores, used bookstores, whatever, and it's mass market, I will avoid it. And if I have a book that I got from somebody else that's mass market, I will actively look for either hard copies or trade paperbacks because mass market sucks ass. And um, let's see. That's it. We're done. 10 minutes, oh, 11 minutes exactly there. So I did it. We did it. Where'd I put my phone? I just had it. Um, it's 11.38, perfect timing. So that's it. Let me know down below in the comments uh, what you're gonna be getting from Anna Luisa. If you went book shopping, if you have any Thanksgiving plans, if you're American, um, also happy Thanksgiving. If you are gonna go book shopping on Black Friday, because you absolutely should. I am a horrible influence. You should go buy more books. Yes, do it. Or if that's just too much or I don't have a lot of time, drop some heart down below. <sighs> Hearts down below, preferably purple ones because that's my favorite color. To stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, TikTok, and Storygraph, all at Zoe's All Booked, which I will leave linked down below, along with the Anna Luisa things. I think that's all of the social media. I don't... My brain doesn't work anymore. It's fine. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share the video so everyone else can join in on the madness the chaos, the shit show. With that, we have come to the very end of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time and unround uh, <laughs> uninterrupted book shopping time. I love you awesome nerds, which is from this movie. That's why I started saying it. This is from this. This is fantastic. I will see you in the next video, which is gonna be maybe Couchmas, maybe day one Couchmas, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll have another one go up, but Couchmas is starting. Yes. <laughs>